Each year in February, millions mark a month that is in part used to celebrate the heritage and traditions of black Canadians. And what better way to kick off Black History Month than to speak with a woman who helped bring it to Canada. City News reporter Faiza Amin joins us now. And Faiza, the pleasure and in your words, the honor of speaking with Jean Augustine, a woman known for making history. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mel, and she is the reason we have a Black History Month. Jean Augustine brought forward a motion back in 1995 to create Black History Month. And that was only two years after she was elected as the first w black woman MP here in Canada. And that didn't stop her from knocking down doors and continuing to make history after that appointment. And she's just a remarkable woman to this day, now 83 years old. She continues to give back to the community. Uh, the, speaking at speaking engagement, giving her time, raising funds. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. Uh, and one of my favorite conversations with her was about the importance of letting women and girls, particularly those of color, dream big. Here's what she had to say. Grandmothers who would say to me, I used to call my grandchildren and say, come, 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 look, see where she's sitting, see where, where she's at. So I think, um, and someone said it, I, I, I didn't create it, but I reuse it. Um, if you can see it, you can be it. And so it's really saying, you know, that it's possible that if Kamala can do this, and she herself said that, it's a signal to all the little girls and all the young women that it is possible and that they can dream big. What an incredible message and such a trailblazer. Faiza, I was looking at your Instagram account and something that she mentioned was, listen, look at the interview itself. Look at who's interviewing her and who's being interviewed today. We've come a long way, but there's still a lot more to go. A lot more to go, and we had that conversation. The the Instagram video you're talking about, she told me, uh, I wouldn't have dreamt of 60 years ago uh, being interviewed by another black woman, let alone being interviewed. We had a 35 minute interview with her, and afterwards, I stopped recording and we continued to chat. And one of the things she said to me was when she was in office, um, People would oftentimes approach her to speak about Black History Month or anything having to do with the black community. But she was also able to speak about way more than that. You know, she's an activist. Uh, you know, she, she speaks and she's done so much work for social housing. There's a school named after her here in the GTA. She's able to speak about uh, equity and equality, so a range of uh, wide topics. And she says uh, she has so much hope for the future and so much um, work that needs to be done, though she says we are taking steps towards that. And if you're wondering what she's doing for Black History Month, uh, in old Jean Augustine fashion, she is giving back to the community. Uh, a fundraiser called 25K in 25 Days by the Community and for the Community. It's a 25th anniversary of Black History Month here in Canada, uh, and she's fundraising for the Jean Augustine Chair and Education Community and Diaspora at York University. So a tremendous woman, and we'll have more on her story tonight on City News at 5 and 6 and throughout the day on citynews.ca. All right, looking forward to it. Faiza, thank you so much for that. It is 8.09, and as Faiza said, our conversation will continue throughout the month. We're going to bring you features, interviews, and many important conversations throughout February. Right now, we're heading up to the lovely Stephanie Henry. Good morning, Steph.